Yo, 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 what's the guys, Mr. Clear, and today I'm here to review the matches for uh, WWE Fast Lane 2017. As you saw my reactions, it was an okay show overall, but I'm here to review every single match on the card. The first card was the kickoff show with Rich Swan and Akira Tozawa defeating the Brian Kendrick and Noam Dar. I didn't watch the kickoff. So I didn't really know how the match went. So yeah. Next up, Samoa Joe defeats Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn. I like this match, but it had so much more potential. Cause these are two awesome competitors, and they they both have good techniques. But but Samoa Joe is mostly like kind of squashing Sami Zayn. Then Sami Zayn came back. But then Samojo came back and defeated him, which I didn't really understand. Next match on the card is the Raw Tag Team Championship match with The Club and Enzo Mori and Big And Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson won. So, they won with, how did they win again? I think, they, okay, so they lost Dirty. They lost in a dirty way and went clean. So it was an okay match because Enzo Moore was getting squashed and the club was dominating the whole thing, which is good for the club because it shows how dominant they are. But it doesn't show how dominant Enzo Amore is because after that, and the big cast came in, he like destroyed them all and then tagged Enzo back in. And then he got demolished, which didn't make any sense, I guess. Sasha Banks versus Nia Jax. This is not shocked about. Sasha Banks defeating Nia Jax. So what she did was, she kind of did a roll up. She like did an arachnid on her legs, which kind of pushed her back on her shoulders, and then she got the one, two, three. But overall, another squash match. Nia just throwing her around, throwing her off the top rope. Throwing her corner to corner, which was showing how dominant she is, but Sasha Banks got the win, which was really cool in my opinion, with our arachnid spider move. And my least favorite matches of the card, the fill-ins. So there's two, Jinder Mahan's Rusev, with Rusev's new haircut, which is okay. So the first match was Cesaro versus Jinder Mahal, and of course Cesaro won with an uppercut. Cesaro wins with an uppercut. Out of all the moves, he didn't even do um, a, a Cesaro swing. He didn't swing in this match, which is a surprise. He but he wins with an uppercut because logic. Next up, his big show defeats Rusev. Um, Rusev got squashed. Because Big Show defeated him by squashing him. That's like four squash matches right there. The, the WWE Cruiserweight match with Neville and Jack Gallagher. And Neville wins. In my opinion, this was an awesome match. Because they're going back and forth with each other. And everyone thought Jack Gallagher was going to win that one point. But Neville showed his intensity and like rolled it up into a ball and just bam. He went all out on Jack Gallagher. And Jack Gallagher reversed and reversed and they kept kicking out and kicking out. And every everything was great about this match. I oh my god, that was like the match of the night, in my opinion. Roman Reigns or next match is Roman Reigns versus Braun Strowman. And Roman Reigns defeats Braun Strowman. This match, I didn't like Roman Reigns' victory because he needs. I don't know how this rivalry started. It started in what was that pay per view called? I forgot TLC, TLC, and all he did was interfere because he wanted competition, and. Um, they didn't really build it up. All they did was talk and talk and sign the contract, which I didn't understand. 
But hopefully this match happens at WrestleMania, so we don't have to see a Roman versus uh, uh, Undertaker. So that would be cool, I guess, in like a Extreme Rules match. Balls caught anywhere. Overall, this was an okay match. Next up is the Raw Women's Championship match with Bailey and Charlotte, Charlotte Flair. With Bailey defeating Charlotte Flair. So, this match was good. It was good. I had the pace was good. And Bailey had her moments. Charlotte had her moments. But then at the end, uh, Sasha Banks came out, distracted um, Charlotte. And Bailey delivered the belly to belly. And. And Charlotte could have won. Charlotte could have won. And she was pulling on the tights, but Sasha Banks pointed it out to the ref. And then she did Bailey to Bailey and had the victory over her. I don't like that booking because it should have been her losing at WrestleMania. Not at uh, a fast lane. But yeah. Next up. The most shocking moment, like top, like number three and uh, disappointing moment, Goldberg versus Kevin Owens for the Universal Championship. Goldberg wins. So the match happened, like in like a minute again. Squash match one more time for Goldberg, because Chris Jericho came out, and then he distracted Chris. He Delivered a spear to Kevin Owens and then a jackhammer. One, two, three. Uh, Goldberg wins the championship, which I didn't understand. I don't understand. Like, I mean, the main, like the second main event, like second to last main event is going to be Goldberg versus Brock for the Universal title. And a part timer isn't going to win the title. So, what the hell, WWE? Anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Like and subscribe for more content like this. And, um, comment down below what I should do next. Subscribe to the Game Crew, so Mom Ties Mad 360, Dark Thief 13, and Watch the 79. And me, Manish Declare. And peace out, guys.